Hey everybody, today's bass lesson is going to be on my top five practice routines that you need to do daily. I, I do them daily and they they will get you closer to reaching your goals without a doubt. So that is, they're simple yet very effective. So if you haven't noticed, it's a bass lessons course, but I have no bass in my hand. So this is going to be a little unique today. Um, I'm taking a little road trip and I thought, well, it's a good time to put this out there. Um, and and just talk about this these these routines that need to be done daily but if you're new to my channel i'm donald witt the bass instructor for the online course um i want to play bass.com where uh, every day i'm helping aspiring bass players reach their goals and um just give them the the skill set that they need to um to either be a working bass player or a um or just doing it as a hobby. I've got a lot of people just want to play bass. They just want to play music. And that's that's a lot of what people want to do. Not everybody wants to make this their career or their living. They just um, they just want to play. And if they can make a little bit of money on the side playing, then that's perfect. But um, for the most part, I'm here. I, either way, if you want to do that, we can get you there as well. But today is going to be my five top um, practice routines that... I do every day and you just you need to do those and number one is going to be set goals you've got to have you've got to have a direction so give yourself a direction give yourself something to to go for don't just um don't just you know grab your guitar or your bass and say i just want to play bass then you know be specific with yourself set a picture of where you want to be and and where you want to be in a timeline as to when you would like to be there and um and you you'll get there just um just set those set those goals you know a little make a daily goal make a a weekly goal um and make a yearly goal or make a big goal that you're the big the big picture you're looking at but then set little daily goals and um the daily ones will be steps to your weekly ones will be your platform and then your big picture will be the peak so so set those goals write them down that's um that's a great way to get it, you know, get it into your, um, not just thinking about them, but actually writing them down, seeing them on paper helps visualize and, um, helps get them into your brain, um, a little better. So, so that's, that's number one. You, first of all, you've got to set your goals. You've got to know where you're going and that's, that's what you need to do. So sit down, set your goals. And number two is mindset. Mindset, realize that you can reach these goals that you've set on this piece of paper realize you can do it and understand that your base um, playing um, influences or idols that you've you've looked after they did they weren't born with this gift their gift was possibly the gift of the mindset they knew it was inevitable that they were going to achieve these goals they 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 didn't have they knew there was no you know there wasn't it wasn't an option they knew they could do this and it was all mindset so so that's the biggest thing. You know you can do it just as well as anybody else can. So anybody that you're following or you're you're watching play bass, you can be that person as well. So it's not um, it's not impossible for certain people and possible for other people. It's um it's definitely you can do it. It's your mindset. You've got to get your mindset right. You have to um and you've got to practice at your mindset. You've got to do it daily. It's not just going to be one day you say, oh okay, I'm going to be a great bassist. You know, it's going to take a little more than that. You've got to believe it. You've got to go out and put your house on the line because you know you're going to do it. You're, you know it's inevitable. It's going to happen, and you can do it. You're not scared of nothing. So you've got to, you know, where you got to take a risk at your, at that point with that mindset. It's not a risk to you. It's just a stepping stone to get to that point. So, so like I say, no risk, no reward, but just be safe. But definitely, it's a mindset. You've got to believe it deeply wholeheartedly believe that and um so number three is going to be visualize visualize your goals that you've written down visualize them um visualize you actually doing those you're living these goals visualize yourself actually actually doing this you know just you know, kind of like a child pretending that they're they're a police officer or something like that kind of like that you're pretending that you're actually doing it you know visualize yourself achieving these goals and 
actually living these goals. I mean, I read a book, you can even look it up. It's the um, inner game of tennis. It wasn't, it wasn't, it was hardly even about tennis. It was, um, it was about the inner game, the, the mental game, the visualization, people visualizing how they played tennis or how they actually hit the ball or how their strokes were. It was all about the visualizing. They, they practiced very little, but, um, they visualized a lot. They spent their times when they weren't able to practice visualizing these um, their steps and how everything should feel, and, and really deeply visualizing this. But but that's um and it, it's the success rate is very high. There I can't remember the percentage. This was probably over 30 years ago. I read this book, so it's been um it's nothing new. Visualization it's nothing new. It's no new science. It's been around for years, and people have done it. Your professional, um, your professional. Um, most of those have done this. The the people that you think that are these elite people, they have visualized these things, and they still do. It's um, it's not something you do one time. It's something you do consistently, and actually build this routine as you do it day in and day out. You you're building a routine and a habit, so you'll do it automatically. So that's um. That's a great one. Visualization. That's, and it's another way. It's another way to keep you going because eventually you get you get a little tired. You feel like um, like after you're doing this week after week, month after month, and you just feel like you're not getting there. Visualize it. It'll it it kind of internally it helps you, gives you more drive. You actually see yourself achieving these goals, and you know then that it is that possible. So that is that is so important the visualizing is as important as the mindset and setting these goals these are all top level top notch um routines that you that you need to get in your um in your daily routine so so that's visualization like i said the visualizing it 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 gives you more drive you, it even helps you be creative with how you're going to get there you you visualize you're doing it so now this visualization is going to you're going to come up with new ideas and new creative ideas of how to reach that that goal and that's um that is that's a critical one now number four is laser focus you know it's laser focus or controlled attention these these are routines that you need to do because they are definitely going to create um your abilities a whole lot more you're gonna you've got that laser focus you can't be like people want to be multitaskers that's that's not good you can multitask on a few things but when you're talking about your future and your goals and what you want to achieve you've got to have a laser focus that controlled attention that's just the blinders on this is all you see are your goals ahead and you're practicing and you're doing your studying in that fashion it's you know set aside a few hours a day and focus on these alone you know no distractions get yourself somewhere that you don't have a lot of distractions and put that aside um, put everything aside for this time and you laser focus on these goals and your practice routines so that's that's one key element like you want to do focus on this goal 100% and that's what you're going to get out of 100% out of it so that is um, that is a top one as well um, when you do practice. So, so that's four. You've got your set your goals. You've got your mindset. You've got your visualization. You've got your laser focus and your controlled attention. Number five is practice these. Practice these day in and day out, and don't give up. Don't get frustrated after a couple weeks and not seeing progress or feeling it like you're seeing any progress. You are gaining progress. Believe me, you are gaining progress. You know, it, you might wake up the next day. Like, I've been practicing. If I find something that I'm having difficulty with and I'm just working hard at it, I'm working hard at it, it's like, all right, I'm not getting it. It's, you know, I almost think at one point that I can't get it. And I, I know I can get it. I, I sleep on it. I wake up the next day and it's like, there it is. I practice it. Everything just came together. It just takes a little bit of time. The muscle memory, you know, if you're in the moment doing it, um, the muscle memory hasn't had time to develop yet. It hasn't, you know, 
out, really to, to take out the kinks. So you, you rest on it and you get up the next day and it's while you're sleeping, everything's still working. Um, your mind is still working. Everything's still going. You're just resting. So they are, and you wake up the next day and you're like, I got it, you know, and it's, it's just like that. So you don't give up um, for sure. You practice at it. You give it, you give it your best effort day in and day out and you will get what you put into it that's without a doubt uh, you know I've done it I've seen it I know it works and um, that's all it's that's it it's basically that it's just those five things will get you where you're going and you just got to realize and understand that it's the long term we're not you're not you set your daily goals as in what you want to achieve that day and what you want to achieve that week and um, then you set the big picture goal that as all these steps are in place that will fall into place as well so it's not um like I say it's not a you know you got to be in for a long term don't set a deadline and say well I've got to be I've got to have this in a year don't do that to yourself just set the goal and dig 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 deep some days you're gonna have to it's not every day you're gonna wake up with this drive and you know just push yourself to do it and um, just understand that it will happen the mindset it will happen and you know just just keep at it stay the course stay the course stay the course and understand you know don't put yourself in a situation where you have to have this happen in six months don't quit your job or don't you know don't do anything crazy just just keep doing what you're doing to to live and then these goals are there and practice at them you know get that relentlessly practice at these goals um every moment you can and you will get there without a doubt so enough said like i said top five set your goals your mindset visualize these goals and your mindset focus laser focus and practice these practice 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 these three these four and you will get there without a doubt so again i'm donald witt at the i've got the um online base um, lessons course i want to play base.com go there check it out subscribe become you know you can become a member for free and um you can actually pick up a free um, ebook I have there, How to Set Your Base Up for Success. Because my course goes from beginning to, there is no end, but beginning to expert. So we'll put it like that, beginner to expert. Because the initial part of the class is, is setting up your base, going through your base, strings, adjusting fret nut, the adjusting action, the intonation just everything about your base how to maintain that how to make those adjustments because everything's subjective to you so you know every every base is different and every body's different how they perform on it so you set it up to you i give you all the all the know-how to do that and um and we go into basic side go over the you know the just that the base is the extension of you and when you go how to get the gigs and when you go in how to prepare for practice for um the rehearsal of the gigs and everything how to get the gigs and you know and we go through playing the music theory and everything and techniques and how to build techniques and how to become the the basis that you desire to be so that's what i go through all of that so check that out subscribe sign up as well for the i've got hundreds of videos there that go over this and you can have and subscribe to my youtube channel here hit the subscribe button i've got more of these i've got a i consider this your music resource center right here so i've got um i've gone through some music appreciation um the genres and how they developed and how they've worked in each other and been affected each other and um all that that series is about to wrap up i've got one more part i'm going to bring out probably next week or um the next video next couple videos will be that and um just a lot of informative informative stuff there that will help you get better and just you know just to know how like i say you want to be a well-rounded basis so you want to know as much as you can about music and music theory and everything and that's um 
that's that's it subscribe to this channel comment down below please let me know if there's if you found something that was this was helpful for to you because like i say they the comments help me help you and that's what that's what i want to do here and um that is my main goal here to help me help you so comment down below if there's something you'd like to know about or something you're um you didn't quite understand or i can go more in the in depth of those i've got blogs out there as well that will dig a little deeper in each one of those aspects um, as well and comment subscribe check out my um, website i want to play bass.com and follow me on facebook twitter and um, instagram i want to play bass is the um, is it all right so thanks again and look forward to hearing from y'all